<laughs> okay, here we go. The bag room. Hey, everybody. We are here today with a haul. Ryan's stressing because his bag just ripped. The whole thing just opened. We didn't do a haul outside today because it was raining all day and our chairs were wet. I forgot to cover them up. Sorry, that was my fault. So anyway, we were just at Goodwill for like two or so hours. We didn't find as much stuff as we usually do at this location, but we still found some pretty good stuff. So we're gonna show you what we found. Anything you need to say? Nope, other than the bag ripped. <laughs> other than the bag ripped. If you like anything um, and you would like to purchase it, you can message me on Instagram, that's the fastest way. And we usually can work out a better deal off of platform. Um, if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. I put out three reselling videos a week. I usually do what sold videos on Fridays, haul videos on Tuesdays, and thread up mystery unboxing videos on Sundays. If you are new here, my name is Heather. I go by the Canary Closet on all of my social media platforms and all of my reselling sites. And this is Ryan, my son. He also resells. He's going into ninth grade. We're a homeschool family. I don't think there's anything else really we need to say. So we're just gonna get into it. Uh, free people sweater. This is a size small. It's a navy blue hooded, like belted sweater. So it kind of has a little bit of like a flared sleeve. It has pockets up here. And let me see the fabric. Uh, it's cotton acrylic blend, but people are going to start buying sweaters and boots now that they're thinking of fall. So that should be good. We just need a little bit of like sweater shaving on this belt part, but. Otherwise, it's in pretty good condition. <laughs> Ellie's liking that rug. And these are J. Crew. Uh, I'm trying to think. I think it's called Matchstick um, Orange Corduroy Jeans. And I looked up that Pants. my mom wouldn't let me get because she thinks it's <laughs> okay. trash, but it was $35. <laughs> I didn't not let him get them, obviously, because he has them. <laughs> I was going to show him the tag. Stop trying to snatch them. Here's why a reason why I thought maybe we shouldn't get them, Ryan, was my reason. Wrong. Okay, they're from fall of 2012, which is now like t 10 years old, but they shockingly still are selling. So I told Ryan that was good. He looked him up. <laughs> sure, I does. wouldn't have got those. That's why you look stuff up. So anyway, okay. This is a Bowden sweater, size medium, navy blue ribbed turtleneck fitted sweater, just a good basic. That probably will sell like 20 to $30. These are cabbie jeans that I found. Can you, are you able to get that label up close or not? Yeah, you can. Enough. There you go. There they are. I broke them back. Um, let's see if they have the I think they might. What size are they? They are size 10. Size 10. Possibly gray. Gray, just a little bit. Mid-rise, maybe skinny jeans. Okay, here's a pair of Madewell pants. I found some other Madewell jeans on the new rack, but they were like super stretched out. Um, so I didn't want to get those. These are the 10 inch high rise skinny and a size 28, but they're almost like velvety feeling and they're just like a gray velvet. velvety. Yeah. Feel them. That's See? Not velvet. Okay. Maybe it's really thin. <laughs> maybe it's like really thin corduroy. I don't know. Can you guys see that? <laughs> See, doesn't feel like velvety. to me. It feels velvety. It doesn't. Apparently it doesn't. Mind. Confirmed. Not velvety. There's some Athleta purple. Um, oh, these are probably high rise. High rise looking. Yeah, purple. they look high rise. They are size large. So that's okay. Find. Those are probably like an ankle length. Um, we found a decent amount of Zaya Active on the new rack when we first came in. This is extra small, small. A pair of black, just like good high rise leggings. They have mesh here on the side and throughout the bottom. So those would be good. And guess what these are? Jigger jeans that my mom also gave to me. Pants. She's like, they're trash. No, <laughs> I just don't have a good luck selling colored Size pants. 25, look them oh. up. I was seeing like 50s, 35, 40s, somewhere randomly like eight, but oh, seeing a lot of good high prices. Yeah. So, so remember when you list them, pants, up. not jeans. Pants, yes. They have zipper ankle on the bottom. Did you say what size those were? I said 25. 25, okay. This is Athleta. It's extra, extra small, but it'll probably fit. It could fit like an extra small or small, but it's like a cream turtleneck crop long sleeve sweatshirt. Is that the garage? I bet Grace is home. 
So yeah. that you should be able to look it up online. Athleta is super easy. Actually, the really newer ones have the style number like right on there, but this one's from spring of 2020, the worst year ever. You guys hear they're like making new COVID guidelines, which is how it should have been from the beginning. Were you gonna sell some? No, I get that for you. Okay. This is a uh, Lauf. Uh, nice. What? <laughs> ah, what's that brand, Ryan? That's great. <laughs> no, it's not a Lauf. It's a Lauren by Ralph Lauren. I don't know why I said a Lauf. <laughs> um, size medium, 100% cashmere. Red long sleeve zipper top. Okay, this is a sweater, and you can put cable knit. See that little pattern? Yeah, cable knit. It's called cable knit. This one needs some sweater shaving because there's like pilling, but that shouldn't be too hard. Super soft though. A pillar? Yeah, Ryan. Exactly. <laughs> this is Jay McLaughlin. Ryan sold this a couple times, um, and it's a size medium, and it's kind of like a sh super stretchy feeling blue and green like pattern top. James Purse. Is this one of your things? Nope, that's for you. Okay, you keep getting brands without me knowing. Um, We're making a video, Grace, if you're going to pop in, but if you're not. I haven't eaten lunch, so I'm going to eat. Okay. All right, keep going, Ryan. <laughs> standard James Purse. This is pretty a expensive standard brand. James Purse, size 4, didn't know that. Um, but they have, like, vanity sizing, so we'll have to look it up. That might be... I feel like for this brand, that would be, like, an extra large, but that doesn't look extra large. Just show you the tag. It kind of has this like ri ribbing detail on the side. Ribbing? Ribbed. Ribbed is when it's like a whole bunch of little lines like this. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> Time to learn, Ryan. You're choking? <coughs> yes. Okay, I'm gonna try sending this into thread up and see how it does. It's more Yui. It's like a formal wear brand. It has purple lace, really long, like evening gown. Uh, I'll keep that separate. This is an M.M. La Flair, maybe? <laughs> I think it's M.M. La Fleur, I La think. La Fleur? I sold their dresses anyway. like really well, but I haven't uh, really found a top. Like a short sleeve. I don't know what kind of like shirt this is. I've never seen like one that's just like... Can color. you show that that tag? Yeah. This is like size, a good bolo brand to be on the lookout size for. Size large. Wait, they didn't ah. see it. It never focused. Okay, sorry. Yeah, that hurts my back like crap. Ryan's like sitting on the little um, ottoman thing. And, and it has these side slits right here. It's navy blue. It's really like a thick material. This is good, like career workwear kind of brand. Okay, more Zaya Active. This is an extra small tank top. And it just has like spell out Zaya on the front, active on the back. So probably like 15 or 20 for that. Uh, we got some AG Adrian Goldschmied white. Uh, let's see what's in today. Size 29, the tomboy crop, relaxed, straight crop jeans. <laughs> a lot of Why did they say crop twice? And these actually don't look like they have any stains on them, which uh -huh. is good because white jeans can, can be scary sometimes. Okay, here is another Bolo brand. Bolo means be on the lookout. This is Ibex, so if you look for that little antelope, that's what yeah. Ryan said that is. Looks more like an antelope than a deer. I said deer at first. <laughs> um, this is 100% New Zealand merino wool. Very fancy. It's a long sleeve basic shirt, but this will still do good because it's Ibex, but like I've sold a coat before for over like over $100, I think. Or maybe even close to $200, I don't remember. So definitely be looking for Ibex when you're out shopping. So you got me the trash version of it. Well, no, it's still good. <laughs> okay. Wait, where's the, oh, I thought it was, oh, here it is. Hi Ellie, you can be in the video at the end. This is Catherine's size 1X. Like, it's like not really a hoodie, but it has a hood. It's just like a thin drawstring. It's almost like a sweater-ish material. It's knit. Sweater-ish almost. And it's like a three-fourth sleeve or elbow yeah. sleeve. That's like a good plus size brand. Okay, we have a pair of Keen boots. They have a couple little like issues. I mean, they're kind of worn and there's like a uh, little like nick or like a little hole right there but that's okay because nick? people use these outdoors you know and there's like a nick in something like a chip <laughs> like a chip in fabric no a nick these are women seven <laughs> anyway these came out in a new car some guy grabbed them but then he put them back so i went ahead and got those those should be good 
No one knows what Grace is doing out there, making background noise. Down, I don't <laughs> sit your video. There's a, a Joey. Joa? <laughs> What? <laughs> it's I'm, Joa. How am I supposed to know that? I'm, sending, I'm going to try to send this into thread up. It's done. Size medium, I guess this is for my mom. Although it's kind of cute. It's a pink rib sweater. It had a piece and of fuzz on the back. it's rayon polyester spandex. I don't know. I don't have super good luck selling Joa myself. Joa. So I'm going to try to send it into thread up. So put that right here with that dress. Okay, some more shoes. This is the brand Neo, which is, I think that's how you say it. It's like a good comfort kind of shoe. And these are a pair of like brown leather Mary Jane sandals. Um, let me see what size they are, if I can find it. How does this thing starts? That's going to be fun listing it if we can't find the size. Okay, I don't know. But they seem like a 9 or a 10. So we'll have to look around for those when we're listing them. Otherwise, we'll just have to measure and put that in the listing. Okay, well... Oh, this is Lululemon. It took me forever to freaking find that. Oh. And I was trying to fix it because it came inside out. But I think this is called the Power Y tank top. How would you know that? Because I've sold it before. Oh, well. <laughs> Obviously. Usually the size is inside these little, like, bra pockets. I'll check. There's, like, little side where they can put in the padding, and sometimes there's a little size dot in there. Okay, Ryan's going to look for that, and I'm going to show you something else. Okay, this is a pair of Sam Edelman boots. These are black, like, pebbled leather ankle boots with the block heel. These are in really good condition and they are a size 11. So those are nice for fall. Can you find I found it? it. Size four. I don't know if you can see it because it's probably blurry, but okay. it's a size four. Size four, your sister's size. Well, she's not wearing it. That's she's what right in wearing. there. <laughs> what? <laughs> Unless she pays full price. <laughs> she can't afford anything right now. Okay. This also came out in the new rack with those um, Keen boots, and this is a Fry purse, which I hardly have ever sold, so we'll have to figure out how much this one is worth, but it is just a nice, like, black leather purse just with this top handle, good condition, so that'll be good. Ryan doesn't sell very many purses, because we usually don't find very many, and the logo is just right down here. At the bottom. Okay. Oh, it's from Zaya, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. Zaya's with the little stars. Star with a... You mean a moon? Or a moon with a star cut out. Yeah. What? It has little stars that cut out from it. That's just a moon back there. So. Anyway. Anyway, <laughs> Zaya, I don't know what size this is, though. Because I was looking If it's not it. printed in there, it might have... To, it's probably... If it came with all the other ones, it was probably, like, an extra small or small. Okay, we'll just assume this is an extra small, like, Zaya tank top. Yeah. Workout tank top. So yeah. this one's kind of ribbed, sleeveless, it's got some, fitted. Some texture to it. Some good words, yeah, you could use for your keywords. Okay, this is Athleta, I think. Right? It's this, like, bluish gray open back tank top. Here's what the back looks like. And I can't find it. Was this Athleta, Ryan? I'm it then. That's crooked as a freaking tree. Here, is that better? How no. is a tree crooked? Here, there. There. Oh my gosh. Have you ever done a freaking geometry? You can't almost focus that, you little duckweed. Okay, we're back. We're not yet. The memory card ran out of space. Then I went to take stuff from my memory card to put on my computer, and there was not enough disk space on the computer. So, major issues. Anyway, did we ever figure out if this was Athleta? I don't know. What is this? I'm pretty sure it is. Let me look down here. Didn't you find it? It was like... Yeah, on, because look, Athleta. On one of the fold things? Yeah, look. Look. Right there. In plain oh. sight. Plain sight. It was guys. on here. It doesn't have a normal... A normal tag. Athleta size small. Anyway, that's cute. It's a cute open back shirt. So here's the best brand on the planet. According to Ryan, it's Cabby. not the best brand on the planet. He just likes to sell it. It sells really good for me. That's why I say that. Yeah. Anyway, it's size small, <laughs> red. It has a little cable knit on the sleeve. There you go. What other keywords Long could you use? Long sleeve cable knit. Um, sweater. Sweater. V-neck. V-neck. I didn't realize that. Yep. Let me check the materials. Yeah, if it ever has any good material, you could list that. 
Just come. Okay, this is Diane von Furstenberg, which doesn't do the best anymore. But is this a cool, like, sheer star print navy blue top? And I think I'm going to try to send it to thread up just because I've had some good luck on there before. I just realized it, like, wasn't in the shot. Um, I've had some good luck on there before with some of her pieces of dresses. So I'm going to try it. It's 100% or it's silk blend, navy blue star print top. Did you already do this? Okay. Yes, this is all we have left. Not a another, huge haul today. Another freaking ripped bag. Right. Well, we'll have to just... Actually, it's the same one. Go get a bag from downstairs to bring this stuff back down. Another Catherine's uh, um, sweater that I found. Ryan showed me this across the store and it kind of made a cringy face, but made a disgusting face. somebody will like it. <laughs> and it has like a weird like zipper flower, part. flower gem thing. I don't even know what you would call that. It has this little like beading. It's, this one is like a sweatshirt material, I would say. It's a zip up sweatshirt and it's size zero X W petite. So that's like the smallest probably size that Catherine's would have. It has pockets. Well, yeah. Okay, this is a J. Crew size extra large merino wool, like green pullover sweater. Did I find that? Ryan found this. Yeah. So it is good size. It also has these little, like, um, like I don't know. Holes, so it's not hot. Probably. I don't know what you call that. <laughs> anyway, it possibly might be new because it has this little, like, thing in the back. So it might be, like, new without tags, Ryan. It's sure. merino wool blend, and it was from spring of 16. So I think that'll still do okay just because it's a good size and good material. Then we got the Levi's Buttonfly 721 High Rise Skinny Ankle Size 26. Jeans. jeans. They have a little like slit detail on the bottom. Yeah. Skinny jeans are still doing good even though the trend is starting to go away from skinny jeans. Mm -hmm. But they will still sell. I still sell them. And I still wear them. Oh, it doesn't look good. Proud, Ryan? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> yeah, that was rude. Chill, I'm kidding. Okay, soft surrounding, size medium. These are just a pair of like black, stretchy pull on pants. So these would be good for like career business or just like a casual outfit. I've sold their pull on jeans before and they usually sell like 20 or $25. This Why is, is this a... wet? Oh, I bet it was a it puke spot. Okay, anyway. This is a size small. Oh, that was half off. I just noticed because the tag was ripped. Can I talk? <laughs> Go ahead. This is a size small athleta blue. I don't know what, what you want to call this like little like seam here, but it's got like a seam all the way around. And sweatshirt. I sold the same sweatshirt before. I think I it might like be the Cozy Karma sweatshirt. I've never seen a hood like that. Because <laughs> usually it's like kind of like hangs off the back. But it's like kind of like an Eskimo hood. So cool. Gonna, that's what I'm going to call that. Good keyword. But it goes like, look at the sides. Like it slid, yeah. the side slit open. It's an open, breathable sweater. I don't know why you want that. I guess for style. For style. More Zaya Active, size extra small. This is like a little animal print, black drawstring shorts. And then there's the logo right there. Okay, a couple this more things. An Athleta, size extra small, green. Kind of Leggings. It's got like kind of a little it's a mini, mesh. mini little. Let me show on this one, because I think this is one of the newer ones. So it does have the style name right on there, which is super nice. So Ryan can look those up. They're really soft and see how yeah, much they can sell And it has for. pockets. Yeah, pockets. Girls like the pockets for the leggings, for their phones that and stuff. That is sort of rare. Okay, Levi 711 Skinny, size 28. Just a pair of nice medium wash jeans with, I thought they had distressing, but maybe not. Oh, just like a tiny bit on oh, one knee. Tap. But those should be like 17 to 25 dollars and then last thing ryan right yep, yep. last chair. thing for this one this haul a black american eagle distressed jeans i think they were these are size we see <coughs> size double zero whoa tiny yeah and wait, where's the thing? she's trying to look for the the style numbers right in there mom straight jean okay so I've always seen like the mom jean, but I've never seen the mom straight. So that's interesting. With distressing. Yeah, with distressing on the knees. So that's it. That's all the stuff Ryan got today. Um, like I said, not our best trip. Usually at that store, we can like stock up and have an overflowing cart. But it was still pretty good. And you have some good things to sell for this week. 
Right? Yeah, I don't know what, what was your favorite thing, do you think? I, I mean, whatever is best to sell, but like, <laughs> the best thing that I know is obviously the cat beef for me. Ryan knows that the most, yeah. I think out of this haul, maybe the fry person that you sell for the most. Let us know down below in the comments, like, which item you guys think is worth, maybe not worth the most money because, like, Diane von Furstenberg is really expensive, but resale value. So what do you think out of resale value is going to sell for the most out of all of this stuff in this haul? That'll be interesting to, to look at the comments. Yeah. Right? And Ryan maybe can pop on over in the comments from his RGB Twister account. And then you can interact with him in the comments as well. So anyway, thanks, guys, for watching. I'll be back Friday with a What Sold video. And... Anything else? I will probably be listing a cabbie sweatshirt, shoes, and a purse today. Okay. So, again, if you're interested, you can message us. Otherwise, you can just go ahead and look in his closet. I'll have all of that information down below in the description. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.